Hola, como esta everyone? How is everyone doing today? The topic of this video is, well first of all, my good side has been kind of compromised today. You know why? Because of all wearing all these face diapers, wearing these face diapers every freaking day. I literally have a pimple, okay? I've got pretty good clear skin, you know, and the fact that we, you know, out here literally have to walk around with a freaking face diaper, like, I would estimate probably about, I don't know, anywhere between three to eight hours a freaking day or whatever, you're going to get some skin complications or whatever. So try not to glare too much at the pimple here or whatever. Um, I got some aloe here. Um, so I'll, I'll be taking care of that, you know, aloe is good for the skin right here or whatever. Um, well, that being said, I'm hanging out with the kids, plant dad in the house or whatnot. Um, but again, we're going to do something a little bit different. Rather than clucking and uh, just, uh, just uh, I guess, um, how should I say it, um, obsessing over the political and social, you know, topics of the freaking day. I mean, there's literally no shortage of people that's doing that these days, quite honestly. Uh, and I really don't want to be that person, at least not this month, you know. Got a lot of stuff on my plate, and uh, I really don't want to boggle myself down by, you know, going on, on camera, talking about things that, quite honestly, if you're not going to do anything about it, you might as well... Well, we're not going to take any initiative to do anything about it. What's the point of, you know, clucking about it again? Um, I know that gets views. I know that that gets some people revenue or whatever. But until we see some initiative or whatnot, you know, well, unless you like that thing, you, unless you like that sort of subject matter, yeah, go right over there to click whoever, whoever is talking about, you know, so-and-so, Demon Jello picked my nose today, and we're going to talk about it today. All right. Next, right? Um, this, is gonna, this video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to do what's called uh, YouTube Reviews. Um, <laughs> coming right at you. Um, I'm going to kind of give a shout-out to uh, YouTubers out there. Um, not specifically, well, in this particular case, at least in the context of the video, yes, I'm going to, to mention them by name. Um, just because, um, you know, if you're, if you're so inclined to check them out, I'll include links in the, either the comment section or in the description of this video. Because um, I know that during, you know, during this, um, these circumstances that uh, a lot of us find this in or whatnot, um, there's a lot of people that you know, just view YouTube and, you know, they've got their favorites. They've got people um, who they view religiously, <laughs> for lack of a better term, and um, recommend to each other. I get a lot of recommendations uh, for to see YouTube content from, you know, friends, family, that sort of thing. So I'm going to give my own personal recommendations of um, people I, um, I usually like to view personally. You know, I know that, you know, it's sort of like a you know, undiscussed thing that, well, YouTubers don't, uh, you know, watch each other or they don't support each other. Bull. Bull. Okay. And, he, and if that is something that's unheard of or whatever, well, I'm going to be the first to go ahead and give shout outs to other, another YouTuber that quite honestly, I feel, think they deserve it. And quite honestly, they, you know, whether it's through TikTok or Flip Flown or whatever and stuff like that, content is king. Okay. And the first guy or the first YouTuber I'm going to highlight is a White Monkey Syndicate. And YouTube, if you flag me for even mentioning White Monkey Syndicate or whatever, kick rocks. Seriously, kick rocks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Hello, Berlin. Mm. Anyway, the first YouTuber um, uh, is, like I said, White Monkey Syndicate. And... I initially, knowing a lot of people that um, work in the ESL game, you know, teaching English as a second language, um, 
I naturally kind of, in, you know, grew, it gravitated towards this fellow um, just because, A, he, at the time, lived in an area or region that I'd actually visited in Vietnam. And that immediately piqued my interest. And when I found out that he, like a lot of uh, people that I grew up with uh, that were in the ESL game, um, this guy was literally making it work out there. Um, but since then, he's shifted a lot of his content. I mean, he moved to Albania. And that was probably the uh, <clears throat> kind of like, that, that was, once he did, once he kind of pivoted his material from, you know, the, 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 the jewel of uh, Southeast Asia to, you know, Albania, I was just like, wow. Because he, uh, one video he had just recently put out, uh, he was just basically, you know, kind of painting the town. And they went into a couple of eating establishments where, like, they were eating like kings. And they were doing it for, like, literally, price-wise, they were doing it for nothing. But anyway, just to give you a little context and background on White Monkey Syndicate or whatever, imagine the, imagine this kind of like, you know, the, the bouncer type or the roadhouse dynamic type or whatever, you know. And if you've seen roadhouse, you kind of know what I mean. You know, this, this falls out like guy that will literally snap, could snap you like a twig, but yet he's reading Nietzsche or he's kind of going off on these really uh, existentialist points. He's very sharp. He's very sharp. And, um, you know, at the same time, he could probably, he, he probably, he could probably like snap you in two or whatnot, but really thoughtful guy. He, um, and his wife, Mish, Mish, hope I'm saying, hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, I didn't get his permission to, to even do this, but not that I need to, but I'm sure he's probably going to be like, you know, oh no, <laughs> no, don't. No, 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 take the, take the, don't even mention me, don't, don't even remark about me, or whatever, and stuff like that, you know, no, he, like, giving praise to his, his, uh, YouTube channel, you know, no, he's probably gonna be like, oh, that's cool, dude, but anyway, um, uh, I find him, uh, very insightful, um, he, he's definitely one that, you know, you know, takes chances, um, and right now, his content I think, especially his live streams as well. Like, uh, normally people don't want to sit through two hours of people just yammering and, and just talking about themselves. But, you know, he actually, unlike a lot of YouTubers in this day and age that are just inundated with themselves or whatever, he seems to have an affinity to actually connect and engage with a lot of his subscribers and viewers and whatnot. So I'm going to give him praise and, and a shout out for that. So. Check his channel out. I'm going to post um, at least one of the current or latest uh, videos that he put up or whatever. Hopefully something that's, that's uh, a little bit shortened or whatever and stuff like that. Just present a link or whatever. But good guy. Um, good guy in general. Um, you know, um, has but one point that I wanted to actually bring up was the fact that he's, he's definitely, uh, I believe his... <clears throat> his uh, his genesis or his, his, his background, he's a New Yorker or whatever. If you know anything about you New Yorkers, for example, I just had a flight from the Midwest. I was on a flight and there was a couple um, on the flight that were obviously, you know, just, be, just not being mindful of the fact that we're on a seven hour five to seven hour flight and they were just chattering loud and stuff like that and they were speaking kind of like in their dialect i'm not gonna i'm not gonna center out like what dialect is but you can play smooth jazz as loud as hell and it'll be annoying and these this couple was annoying and there was a young lady from new york that was like uh-uh no no and <laughs> she was not having it she was just like and I got to point out too, all right, if you're going to be on a plane, quite honestly, just, rem just remember that due to cabin pressure and the fact that you're kind of locked in this cabin or whatever and stuff like that, please be mindful of your odors. I'm just putting that lightly, okay, because this woman, the, the woman of the couple, okay, smelled like a linebacker. Smelled like a freaking lock a locker room. And I'm not exaggerating. Ladies, come on. 
you do not need to be smelling like a guy. And she, oof, this woman smelled like a dude. But anyway, Miss New York just checked that. She was checking her. She was just like, first of all, you need to be mindful of, and, and it got to the, it, it, it escalated to the point where um, the, where the flight attendants literally, and we were over, I believe we were over uh, Phoenix, and it got to the point where it's just like, all right, we might have to, to land this plane early because, you know, the, the New York chick was literally like, I will punch you in the nose if you keep, don't even look at me, stop looking at me, just quit, just, this is what you're doing, this is what I want you to do. That was her mindset. So that being said, head over to White Monkey Syndicate, give them a shout out, and, um, you know, I feel his, his uh, content is engaging, okay? Like, I normally don't like to sit through two hours of anything or whatever, but, I mean, he's definitely got content, especially given the fact that he's out in Albania too, man. Like, the least like, likely, like, you know, tourist destination I would even consider. But I'm planning to book a flight out there, you know, just, just, just from what I saw from his video. So check him out. The second video is called How Much? Um, and being someone that comes from um, a background in uh, royalties and payments accountable in um, the music industry, okay, in summary, or a, a summary, or a brief synopsis is this guy, whoever this is, and it, it kind of it, it kind of has that graded automated AI speech, but it gets to the point very very fast. A lot of these videos are kind of like under a minute maybe two minutes or whatever, but he literally breaks down what most of the your popular or some, or at least rising or emerging popular YouTubers actually make by the, um, the uh, ratio and analytics probably given from, you know, just casual observation or whatever. And being someone who uh, used to calculate uh, music royalties and allocate income from like major, major um, musicians and superstars, uh, and performers or whatever and stuff like that. That, that, hell yeah. I, I love that or whatever. So check his channel out as well. Um, just, you know, the dodgy, the, the dodgy like robotic AI voice or whatever might get, a, might, might get a little bit to you, but it's one of those, you'll binge watch it. You'll binge watch because like I just went through his channel and like there's literally hundreds of people he breaks down and, and people that a lot, a lot of, uh, you know, you might even subscribe to as well. So it's called how much or whatever, how much said YouTuber makes or whatever. Either way, check that out. So those are my two recommendations um, for the YouTube review. And um, I hope you um, mosey on down there, check these guys out and, you know, subscribe, give them a like you know, and tell them Twizzle approves. That being said, I'm going to get on out of here and because uh, I've got to prepare for another trip pretty soon. Um, it's definitely going to be um, out the country, definitely. Um, it says in September. I'm going to take care of some more business down there as well. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll uh, I'll upload my details of where that is and um, until next time as always uh, stay awesome be good to each other um, try cooking and as always peace out